You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. No, I'm allowed to be here until the police come. Ethics just hold me back. You know, like friends who stop me from driving after I drank too much. Two dumb babies. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's like my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> I would like all of you to know we're not in this together. Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. How are yours so much louder? You clap like a bitch. Even still. <laughs> Man, mine's way louder. Holy you shit. Clap your hands better. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Sad. Look at that. You, Look at that registry. Yeah. You clapped your fingers. Better. Make them fingers clap. <laughs> That's a golf clap. <laughs> All right. Yeah, fuck you, listeners. Like, Hope you enjoy that <laughs> loud clapping. I like that golf is like, we, we deserve a clap also. Yeah, right. <laughs> we deserve our own clap, a dignified clap. Yeah, exactly. Someone started actually enjoying something like, whoa, 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 whoa. No, hold on, this is golf. Take it easy. Also, I didn't mean to say fuck you to you guys. I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, you're just going to... That was a little too far. Really starting this out. It's just like you go out on stage and the first joke doesn't get a laugh and you're like, well, fuck you yeah, then, you my piece balls. of shit. It was more like... Uh, it's more like when you tell a terrible joke and you're like, yeah, you like that, you idiots? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no, don't, we don't like that. Why well, are you doubling it's a true down? story. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean we have to like it. Yeah, I don't exactly. know. I hate most true so stories. So many true stories that have happened that are just boring. Yeah, exactly. Not nine, fun. Nine percent of the time, a true story is the worst story I've ever heard yeah. in my life. <laughs> you know what's a great not true story? Jurassic Park. Jurassic I'm never, Park's not a true story. I'm never like watching Jurassic Park. Like, <laughs> man, I wish. I hope this is real. I mean, it's based off real events, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's based on a true story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? I think so. <laughs> when you're like, you're watching Jurassic Park, you find out it's not real. You're like, well, I can't get into this then. <laughs> it's not even real, dude. I found out the other day, uh, the first dinosaur was discovered in uh, 1823 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, George Washington died in like 19 or 1799. It's like Whoa. I didn't even know about dinosaurs. They had di dinosaurs were discovered after him, or just we figured out what they were. I think like after. How did we figure out what dinosaurs were too? We just found big bones. We're like dinosaurs. No, first time you <laughs> discover big bones, you're like dragons are real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like we had probably dragons in mythology long before we had yeah. dinosaurs anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Right? And I bet that came from like pre like old people finding bones. And being like, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> this is terrifying. Well, I guess we Whatever had, this is. We had the thought of giants for a while. Yeah, it's probably That's from that, at. too. Yeah. Find a huge T-Rex thigh. You're mm -hmm. like, I guess this is a, it's probably a person. I only know people. Yeah. That's the only <laughs> thing. I don't know any big lizards, but I do know some kind of tall guys. <laughs> Maybe like this guy's just a real tall st guy. Still a, still a big bone for him, but I mean, probably he came from taller people. Yeah. You know, where it's like Russian nesting dolls of <laughs> of humanity or yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's how tall people are made. They come out of a taller person. <laughs> yeah. You rip them in half. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're so tall. How tall was the guy you got ripped out of? What? <laughs> Having theories a long time ago must have been so fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can just say come whatever you want. Come <laughs> Like, yeah, this big thigh bone, it was, um, uh, I don't know, alien giants. So that's why the pyramids are so big. <laughs> and I'm like, good enough for me, dude. I don't know. I, I, I think he's wrong, but I don't know enough to debate that. <laughs> he's wrong, but I don't know what's right. And <laughs> yeah. if I just call him wrong, then he's going to ask me what the correct answer is, and I don't have anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was really all theories were before. It was like, who can say the thing first? Yeah. Who sounds... Correct. You just you just had to have a lot of uh, gumption when you when yeah. you said something. Like when Galileo didn't they kill Galileo because he was uh, like probably. fucking. He was like, oh, we the Earth uh, actually revolves around something else. They're like fucking kill this guy <laughs> and <laughs> this guy's how life. How dare you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been saying the, uh, a different thing for thousands of years, dude. You can't just yeah, yeah. make something new up. <laughs> no, no, no. That goes against the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Murder this guy immediately. <laughs> Well, and it's like, even back then, there wasn't like, he didn't have like satellites to prove it. He was just like, no, because I'm looking at the planets and that one kind of looks sort of like it's over there. And they're like, fuck you, that's not enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way that's enough for me. <laughs> the twinkle in the sky looks like it's in a different place? <laughs> yeah, Shut lick up. my balls, <laughs> Galileo Galilei. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> he just died from being old, but they gave him a lot of shit throughout his life. Okay, that's good. So he beat the charges. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Maybe they did. Maybe I guess he was. Uh, he proved it right. Is that why they didn't kill him? Because he was like, no, this is actually, he actually proved it. 
I think he just got out of trouble for so much. They're like, oh, fine. They're going to honor him with this giant mausoleum. And they're like, nah, dude, too much heresy. Just stick him in the ground. Fuck him. That's hilarious. He didn't get a cool grave? No. One Bummer. Th- he didn't even get a cool grave. Five seconds ago, you thought we murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, now I want him to have a cool <laughs> they grave. They could even give him a good grave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give him a okay. good grave. <laughs> Now he's just in well, a mass grave with all the you, other. You fight the church in like old timey court, which was there weren't laws in old timey court. No. It was just like I well, God says you gotta get choked to death. Yeah, <laughs> like, man, I hate that God's your lawyer. How do I hire God as my lawyer? Yeah. That guy's so that seems good. Really unfair. <laughs> yeah. Guy knows everything. Well, God is law, so you're like yeah, yeah, I need him on my yeah, side. Let me obviously. get that guy. What's his rate? You can't afford it. It's uh, it's the blood of millions. Yeah, that's it's the free rate. if you're part of the church. <laughs> yeah, well, if I'm part of the church, they're like, then you wouldn't be in this mess. <laughs> it's actually, it's a bunch of these uh, little kid bones we keep throwing in this hole in the Vatican. <laughs> that's the price of God as your lawyer. <laughs> when you find a mass grave and you think it's, I think we talked about this, you find think it's one thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, this guy's huge. There's so many <laughs> bones. <laughs> it like seventy legs. <laughs> Yeah, that'd have been cool, though. The first guy to be like, no, they're dinosaurs. <laughs> that'd have been like, dude, you're really thinking out of the box. Yeah. And then you have to, I mean, someone had to come up with the term dinosaur also, and then yeah, you no, know, and then get people to just be like, that's what these things are that we've never seen. Well, that's probably like Greek. Hard. When you just knew Greek, that was easy. so easy to come up with words. Yeah. Like dino is like old lizard or whatever, you know? It's probably in Greek or in, a, or in a old, whatever Latin I mean. Old sour bones. Yeah. <laughs> old big mouth tooth guy. You know, Greek. Yeah. I meant Latin, but still. Yeah. The sentiment stands. Old language. If you know old it's languages. It's all Greek to me. Yeah, it's all Latin to me. When did we decide that uh, dinosaurs had feathers? I think that was recent. I think that that's a new one. Recent, 90s right? or something. 90s? Yeah. Wow. Maybe even earlier. Or maybe new. Uh, yeah. Maybe even like Later, more recent. That would have been like, all right, how are you, how are you getting that? I say, yeah. Feathers that seems didn't, like a They don't last the, the <laughs> test of time, you know, like bones do. Those seems the first thing to decompose. Seems like a wild guess to me. <laughs> yeah, right. Now they had lasers on their backs. You're like, yeah, well, they, they decomposed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just my guess. It was probably like uh, they saw dinosaurs and they're like, they don't walk like geckos. They walk like chickens. <laughs> <laughs> like, just think about this for a second. Why is this lizard standing on two legs? Yeah. No lizards do this. Yeah, we definitely were comparing it to modern birds and everything and just like... Yeah. It goes off of this, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing that looks the closest. Yeah. Also, birds freak me out even as tiny birds, dude. Like, yeah. when they were like, oh, they're birds? I'm like, that's so much scarier than lizards. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is way more scary. Birds don't have feelings. Birds, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> birds are killing machines, dude. <laughs> Those things will rip the guts out of another bird with yeah. their mouth. <laughs> and feed it to its child. Yeah, exactly. They just puke up other bird guts. This is your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Birds are horrifying. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with them at all. Bring back the lizards. Yeah, we should murder birds exclusively. All of them, even if we don't feed them. Yeah. Or eat, eat them, I mean. Yeah. Hey, don't do not do both. No, don't feed them either, unless it's explosives. Yeah. <laughs> Just seen a picture. Yeah. yeah. That's why I love all the chicken farms, you know? Really really sticking it to those yeah, dinosaurs. more chicken know? farms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stay in your cage. We're just trying to make sure there's not another dinosaur outbreak. Yeah, exactly. No no more <laughs> Jurassic eras. Yeah, haven't you seen the new Jurassic Parks where it's, it's like in the city and stuff and yeah. dinosaurs get out? That looks horrible. We can't yeah. handle that. That was kind of a funny premise. They're like, what if uh, dinosaurs were zombies? And they're like, here's a million dollars. <laughs> what if we did a zombie movie, but they're dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. Uh, should we try the new segment out? Oh, yeah, we got Scam of the Week. So there's a new segment. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> scam <laughs> of the Week. We find a scam that was run somewhere in, our, in uh, honestly, around the whole world, you know? Foreign scams, yeah, we, local scams. We got to leave it open for now because I don't yeah. know how often we're gonna get like new, cool, fun scams. Yeah, I mean, so we're always gonna have some scams. I yeah. bet it's gonna be. But we could end up with like the same similar scam over and over. I bet. I bet that's what's gonna happen. So yeah, yeah. So you know, it's a fun. You know, we just we just want to celebrate scammers. Yeah, we'll in do, every in every corner and walk of life. We'll do new scams for now, and if we run out, we'll go back to some old scams that 
have been missed. Yeah, we could do some classic scams too. We're figuring, scams. we're figuring this idea out on the air. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> we didn't really think about this, before, <laughs> but, but we found a scam. Yeah, so we found a scam. This is the scam of the week. Tony, can you uh, can you lead us off, please? Here we go. In Lincoln County, West Virginia, place where all good things happen, a man is charged in a multi-state scam trying to sell a dog that did not exist. Hey, I like that. <laughs> Playing on people's fucking loneliness. Why didn't he just try and sell a dog that did exist and then still not give anyone the dog? Yeah. He could have just stole a dog. <laughs> but I mean, then you're stealing dogs. I don't know what's worse. Is a fraud or stealing eight different dogs from people? Probably stealing an alive creature. Yeah. That's someone's pet. Yeah, exactly. Like a part of their family. Well, I guess you got to think, Is it what's worse? Is it breaking and entering and like robbery or fraud? Fraud on that level is just gonna be fraud. How much was he charging them for the dog each time? Doesn't say each time, but he got a total of ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Yeah. Incredible. Well, how many times did he? That's do? not bad. He got eight people. Eight, eight people, people. So for... th- a little over a thousand bucks or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. Yeah. And that's like he's going for that's... low scams too. You know, he's not doing like, yeah. oh, everyone give me ten grand. That's how you get caught. Honestly, this I guy should have got, got away with it. Still got yeah. caught. This guy like. should have got away yeah. with it though. <laughs> it I'm took, on his side. It took till the eighth person. Yeah. <laughs> And then maybe someone finally saw that the dog was still up. Was he just doing this over Craigslist or something? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what was he? Uh, it doesn't quite say here, but uh, hey, where's this scam dog site? I want to. I actually was looking for a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. his own website. He like designed a website <laughs> yeah. for it. Brandon's dogs. <laughs> like, I don't like this at all, dude. Yeah, uh, Brandon Steve Vance. Uh, well, the, one of the reasons he got caught is because he used uh, PayPal and Walmart Pay. Walmart. You can use Walmart Pay, not selling through Walmart. What the hell is Walmart? Is that like white trash cash app? (laughs) (laughs) What's fucking Walmart? It only takes EBT. (laughs) No, no real money, please, on Walmart Pay. You can uh, put your recycling directly, directly out of the app. (laughs) The only way to use it, you got to be sixty-five and older. (laughs) Your home needs to be on wheels if you want to use this. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) This is. How mobile is this your a, home? What kind of mobile, question is that? This is a mobile mobile app. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does it say if he tried to sell the same dog each time or he did different dogs? Well, we're well, going mean, to assume that the, the dog United... doesn't exist. So yeah. that's know. that's why. So he sold no dogs. <laughs> but did he use the same picture of a dog? I mean, he had to have used a picture of a dog, right? Yeah. I sure hope. <laughs> He's I just know. like, just trust me. Yeah. It's trust a me, cute a dog. dog. Right here. Yeah, it's adorable. It's Fuck lovable. off. Lovable. <laughs> no information on yeah, it. Yeah, I wonder how we yeah, got it's caught. It's a dog. Yeah, you got to do a new picture of a new dog every time. Yeah. Or else someone's <laughs> like, hey, didn't you sell me this dog? <laughs> yeah. I go? Also, I never got that dog. He's still selling the dog. <laughs> he I didn't get. Maybe he did have the dog and he was just like, oh, I'm going to make some money on you, baby boy. Yeah. That's... <laughs> I'm going to get Could've... 10 grand and I'm just going to keep this dog. <laughs> if he had the dog and was just like, oh, I had a change of heart and decided to keep the dog, I wonder if it would be a lesser crime yeah maybe <laughs> yeah i don't know i feel like uh well he only's doing people looking for like a purebred probably you yeah know? like he's not doing thousand dollar for a rescue i'd be like fuck you right this dog is damaged goods here's 25 dollars <laughs> and it shuts this, this is an inbred dog you pay for it on walmart pay <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah purebreds are done through zell inbred <laughs> dogs are done through walmart pay. <laughs> Yeah, he's like yeah. He's, he's a like, purebred. He's like a bu- he's just a bunch of different mutts, but they're uh, his his parents are siblings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate I hate inbreds. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> he's ugly and he has a limp. You mean <laughs> purebred? No, I mean inbred. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about purebred. <laughs> this listing is correct. <laughs> he's not even like pumping up the listing. Like not even making it sound that great. <laughs> It's like the dog's partly deaf in its left ear. <laughs> yeah. like, what? Might be half coyote. <laughs> but I promise its parents are siblings. <laughs> Ugh. The, All right, here's $1,000. The, the header for the sale is just like totally real dog <laughs> <Yeah>. for sale. <laughs> It's like a cat with, with floppy ears on it, like yeah. dressed up. It's just him on, on the dog filter on Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does it say what where he's at? Like, is he on trial right now or about to go to trial? Uh, he is just arrested. That's all we have here in this article. No. We'll yeah, this is from today, isn't happens. it? Yeah, it's oh, yeah. fresh news. He just got arrested today. Hell Man. yeah. <laughs> That's too bad, dude. We could have got that dog. We were just a day earlier. <laughs> I don't think you uh, understood what... What's, <laughs> what? Yeah, he doesn't have the dog. I'm confused. Speaking of trials, uh, Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial still going on. Yeah. 
This I feel like this trial went on longer than the O.J. Simpson trial, which is wild. Yeah, the tr- this trial went on longer than that uh, Derek Chauvin one. <laughs> Remember the guy who's like, we had we had marches across the country for. We're like, we need Amber to know Heard which one of more. these celebrities is a liar alcoholic. Yeah, exactly. Can't it be both of them yeah. and we ignore them forever? Can't both of them be pieces of shit? How come you're making me care about this? Because I don't. Everyone's like, if you're on Johnny Depp's side, you're a piece of shit. If you're on Amber Heard's side, you're a piece of shit. If you care about their relationship at all, you're an idiot. It doesn't matter in the slightest. That's how you're wasting your time. Yeah, exactly. You deserve your lot in life. Yeah, for real. (laughs) It's not even good in... It's like, did they slap each other? We're like, yes, we know that. Yeah, probably. We already knew that from the beginning. (laughs) What are we even debating? (laughs) It's like if OJ was like, yes, I did it at the beginning. We still did a trial. We're like, well, we didn't need to do that. How exactly? He's like, that you're going to have to figure out over the next four months. Well, I'm seeing people who's like, I've lost friends over this trial. (laughs) How, dude? How have you lost friends over the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial? That's insane. That's how divided as a nation we are. (laughs) Yeah, that's seriously. That's pretty divided. No, for real. Well, that, exactly, dude. We just care so much about issues that don't actually pertain to us a little yeah. bit, and we just cut people out of our lives now if they disagree with us. Yeah, like people who took like Kim K or Kanye's side on that yeah. divorce. Yeah, <laughs> like who cares? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't hang out with Susan anymore. Yeah, just found out she's a Johnny Depp supporter. <laughs> what was he running for governor? <laughs> what do you mean? You, how'd you lose more friends over a celebrity divorce than your own divorce? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, right? exactly. like, well, I know, but they're a mutual friend, so gotta stick with them. <laughs> You're friends with that guy who is abusive to his last girlfriend still. Why are, yeah. you, why are you fucking cutting off Johnny Depp? You don't cut off Adam, the yeah. known abuser. Yeah, you're for sure friends with people who are actual <laughs> monsters you know. I can't even watch Pirates of the Caribbean the same anymore. <laughs> We're too deep into celebrity culture yeah. at this point. No, for real. Also, buy Eric's merch. He just dropped merch. Yeah. I'm not a celebrity, <laughs> but I have merch. Yeah, there's a scam of the week. Yeah. We like the scam of the week. We try Brandon it out. Brandon Vance. Um, free Brandon Vance. What a cool name. Brandon Steven Vance. Brandon Dude, he sounds cool even. He's the Steven messes it up a little bit. Yeah, that's the But Brandon part. Vance sounds like he he is like a golfer or maybe even sang for an 80s hair metal band. Yeah, right. Whoa. Brandon Vance and the the Moody Boys. <laughs> <laughs> in the 80s, it could have just been like White Snake or, you know. Yeah. Well, I like him as a doo wop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you only get your middle name if you commit a crime. You notice that? If you're like, hey, Brandon Vance, he won this award. Brandon Steven Vance, arrested for fraud. <laughs> it's the you know? it's the government or whatever society yelling at you. Like when your parents yell at you and yeah. use your middle name. Yeah. It's the, the court system. Exactly. <laughs> You're like, oh, he, he's in trouble. They're using his middle name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is legal documents. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're using your middle name in the news article. Ooh, you're going to go to prison. <laughs> Dude, if I just started to get caught for that sort of fraud, why don't you just pay those people back real quick and try and hush this up? You're not going to win this. <laughs> yeah, it's only 10 grand. I mean, I don't have 10 grand, but if I just stole 10 grand from people, you probably, yeah, they probably a little spent bit. it. Yeah, he probably spent it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't sound like a guy who saves. He's like, oh, but come on, that's in my, I'm saving up for a house. <laughs> yeah. Man, we need more segments. How easy was that? Yeah. We like knew cool. what to talk about. Now we need a way out great. of segments. Yeah. Probably now, more segments. Jingles. It could be, I guess. What? Jingles. Jingles, Jingles yeah. Jingle could get us out. Because yeah. then getting we need, out. We need Brandon Vance and the Moody Boys to write us a fucking jingle. <laughs> <laughs> What's getting, his rate? Getting out now. It's like $1,200, it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, perfect. We know it's right. We won't pay your bail, but <laughs> we'll buy another dog from you if you're getting right. What would you sell if you had to sell something that you didn't even have? That you think you could get people to just buy from you? I don't know. Electronics? That's a good one. Insurance? <laughs> insurance already doesn't exist? Yeah. Insurance is the hardest one to prove it exists. I have insurance. I don't know if it works. Yeah, exactly. I won't know like, until oh, I need it. Thanks for paying me. And then someone actually gets into an accent. I change my name. I move to Russia. <laughs> Boom. That's why you have to get insurance through a major company. Yeah. You're like, I need to know that you exist. I see those, uh, the bus ads on like, uh, on like LA buses where it's like Adriana's insurance. You're like, okay, dude, no fucking way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Going to Adriana. What's your last name, Adriana? <laughs> 
I don't even know your full fucking name. I'm, I'm more of a company insurance <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> person. I, I don't want the homegrown family yeah. insurance. Even the general's the... a little too close to just a name and not, <laughs> yeah, not a exactly. company. <laughs> I'm all about supporting small businesses, but not insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bank, that's one thing, like a credit union or something. Yeah. Or local credit union. Your local insurance company, yeah. a little less. <laughs> well, I'm always like insurance like State Farm and all these like, these companies are so predatory and they're fucked. And you're like, well, would you go to Adriana? And you're like, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to use the scummy insurance company. <laughs> what happens? You give her a bunch of money and, and then maybe if you need her, she takes care of it. Yeah. She just makes some calls. She's like, I got some cousins. They'll, they'll take care of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> take care of me. What does that mean? No, I got in a car accident. Yeah, yeah we're going to beat up the other guy. Yeah. No, I need money. No, that's not. <laughs> no, we got you. Trust me. That yeah. guy is dead. We're gonna beat beat no. him up and, and take the car that his insurance gets him. Be cool, like loan sharking. What happened to that? Loan sharking's still around, probably. Yeah? I hope so. Yeah. I guess that, like, uh, those uh, cash money now or whatever, those cash Maybe now. Loans. Payday loans, those are kind of loan sharking, right? Oh, 100%. That's basically the same thing. Yeah. The they, just have, they just have storefronts now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't have, uh, well, they don't need, like, goons anymore. No. You can just sue the balls off people and drive them into bankruptcy. Yeah. Which is way better than goons. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, no, 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 the legal system's actually on our side. <laughs> Who was the first loan shark to figure that out? Hey, we don't need a mafia, whoever, guys. We can just use the courts. It's whoever <laughs> the CEO of Cash Now is or whatever. Yeah. Payday loans. They're yeah. like, yeah, I'll give you money. Yeah, you give me a bunch more money or I'm going to yeah. come break your legs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even the same. I don't use small banks. No way. If I give you a bunch of money, then it's like, well, you're just using my money now. Putting collateral up. You're like, this is a pawn shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> we let so many legal scams just exist yeah like well they filed the llc paperwork so yeah, they're right. legal now yeah, this is a real company <laughs> they can do whatever they want just make up rates of how much you have to pay them back yeah they're like fine but if you don't pay me by the 15th of next month you owe me 800 yeah. percent on the loan what? <laughs> how'd you get that number well i uh i just picked it out of a hat yeah <laughs> bad pull sorry <laughs> buddy <laughs> Last guy got six. You, you go in and sign documents and then spin a wheel to see what the percentage rate <laughs> yeah. is going to be. Oh, 800% <laughs> interest. You land on one that's that just like. That sliver's so big. Why do you have that sliver so big? <laughs> you land on one that's just like broken bones. You're like, ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad one. What You're going to want to pay up. <laughs> yeah. I already did pay up. It's like, yeah, but you spun broken bones. <laughs> we still got to break your bones, buddy. <laughs> it's not really a repayment thing. It's just <laughs> yeah. part of. It's kind of just the, the rate. Deal. It's the rate. Just to, just to keep our goons sharp. You don't snap bones often enough. You you lose it. I bet that's true. It's like any sport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Torturing's a sport. I saw an ad like on a truck where it was like something about the some about the American dream. What a good advertising campaign for a country. You know, no other country has had as good a slogan as like the American dream. You know. Yeah. Like trying to think. That's why everyone comes to America because we had a really good slogan. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was Come the experience only reason. the American dream. You know, <laughs> that was why people knew about it. We've always been good at marketing. This, yeah. This, we've this always been killing. Like, what does Ireland at? have? Right. They're like, uh, we have potatoes sometimes. Yeah. They're like, Not we, always. Need, <laughs> we need a memorable flag that doesn't look exactly like everyone else's. Yeah. <laughs> we did great at branding. Yeah. No one did better at branding than Nas America. National now we're kind of losing it now. National anthem that actually kind of sounds like music. We need a new slogan. Of. Still use a new one. To stop the decline of America. Yeah. We just need a new a new fun slogan. Yeah, other than get out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> need a new one. Uh, hey, try not to be black. <laughs> America. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's always been one. that's been in the slogan somewhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's silent, but it it was in there. We got to put the the Mad Men in in Congress. We've definitely given up. Yeah. Right. We don't we don't brand the country right anymore. You know. Yeah. We've we've lost that. It used to be it's like yeah we're nuking stuff but we're doing it for the people. Now we're just like we're fucking blowing stuff up. <laughs> we're sending you money to us. Ukraine no matter what. We don't really care what. Maybe they're going to blame some of the the bombing that we've done on uh, on the aliens, the UFO stuff cuz more of that's popping up. More UFOs? Again? Yeah, more the more about the footage that they had already showed us and then just yeah, more information and what what not starting to pop up. We're like what? I don't know. I didn't see 
I didn't see any details yet. I'm just starting to see the news headlines pop up UFOs? again. Yeah, that's they're why calling they're... it a security threat today. What, UFOs? Yeah. Key lawmakers warned at a House hearing today, Tuesday, uh, that unidentified aerial phenomena must be investigated and taken seriously as a potential threat to national security. Whoa! Alien invasion. Dude, we're gonna shoot Damn, we're dude. gonna shoot a nuke at an alien UFO and just hit Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it sorry. disappeared. We, we missed. missed it. I don't know. Oh, Moscow. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get mad. We were aiming for an alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aliens are a threat. They're a big threat. Uh <laughs> We accidentally hit all of our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. Also, I think we have a pretty good chance against aliens. You know? Yeah. Like they don't with, seem to be doing anything. Well, and also, like, are. just They're for just how much watching. money we've put into just blowing stuff and killing, like, blowing stuff up, not blowing stuff. Yeah. We don't blow a lot of stuff. Blow we stuff put a up. lot of effort into blowing stuff, yeah, too. Yeah. There's a lot <laughs> on that front. No, no, that machine's Japanese. <laughs> yeah, that's a different thing. <laughs> I mean, us as a, as a society, like a world. Cause like as a species. It's the world, yeah. Because right. it is the world against aliens yeah. at some I mean, maybe. point. Maybe. I don't know, dude. Yeah, I guess maybe. You're going to see fucking Iran side with the aliens. Like, you yeah. fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you pieces of shit. I knew it. <laughs> North Korea. <laughs> They're like, go team alien. Like, fuck you guys. They're like, do it. It's a good thing we have Space Force now. Right? Yeah. We Shouldn't still doing Space that? Do we? Is, sh- 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 I don't know. <laughs> I, I know the show got canceled. I wonder if that has anything to do with I that. don't know that if the show being canceled is the same as the actual military branch, It's more but... real than the military. I'm telling you that It's right more now. enjoyable. And that would suck. I'm like, what happened to the Space Force? And Donald Trump's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> You all laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I can't believe it. Be really? This was the thing he got really? right? He actually got that right? I'm Space fucking Force. shocked. Wow. God damn. <laughs> well, when you're right, you're right. Space Force should be controlled by LucasArts. Like, it should be a, yeah, a, exactly. bran- a branch of Disney at this point. Yeah, for real. They should just be fucking designing weapons. <laughs> That's why I, I fucking used to... Um, I used to talk about that, where it was like, uh, like the Department of Defense. Most of that job is just like, just thinking of the coolest stuff you can think of. That's <laughs> Trying like to that, get other people to make yeah. it. Yeah. And being like, all right, what if there was like lasers that shot missiles? <laughs> and it was like, and they're like, okay, yeah, we can do that. All right, now give me some Nazis to figure out this tech. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just need some Nazis. We can get like, you know, you know, okay, it's a rocket, but it shoots radiation. You're like, okay, okay, all right, all right. Nice. Sick. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. I like that. Remember when Obama was like, we're making Iron Man, and everyone's like, whoa, and then uh, we never seen it. Yeah, I don't remember that. We're but probably that still working awesome. on it. Uh, yeah, yeah I imagine. Or they were like, bit. "Hey, we have, we have drones. We don't need Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need so a guy cool. here. Yeah. <laughs> You know what people don't like? Drones. But yeah. people love Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. If we're like Iron Man is gonna go demolish the Middle East, it's like, all right, it's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Iron Man really kicked our ass, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should have been nicer to Iron Man. Yeah. I'm sure there was like generals who saw the movie Iron Man and were like. We got to get one of those. <laughs> Why don't we have one of those? That's great. <laughs> what a good idea. <laughs> They're trying to return some of their like warships and whatnot. They're like, all right, we'll tra- trade three of these tanks and two uh, two of these drones. Can we get one Iron Man, please? <laughs> it's like Monopoly. There's like a yeah. bank. <laughs> <laughs> sort hey, of. For four yeah, tanks, I'm going to get, I get I mean, Iron Man. <laughs> I think that's kind of how the military is. There's a, the people in charge of what weapons are made. and Yeah. What not? I don't think you need to trade anything in. I think you just make it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, I'll trade. It. Is the so is there enough money need, in the bank? Maybe they need. <laughs> I can trade in three warships for in an the Iron Man. World Bank. <laughs> <laughs> then you just have that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we need no, more. You're, more you're the over. Metal. You're over your command points. Actually, <laughs> you gotta trade in some warships. If you I want. mean, there's supposed to be a budget. Like I risk. don't think there is, but there's <laughs> there's supposed to be a military budget. Do you make death sound like such a board game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, if if baseball doesn't have a salary cap, NATO does the military. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be insane. Risk is also, you know, based off real life. So. <laughs> You can't be like, hey, China, you're over your salary cap with the military thing, all right? There are <laughs> rules here at the, in, in world fucking army There baseball. are rules in war. <laughs> world yeah, army barely. baseball. <laughs> <laughs> there's like, there's like, uh, there's not rules in war. There's like suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> 
eh, trying to use mustard gas. If you have to, I get it, but you know, try not to. You're trying not supposed to, to shoot these Red Cross buildings, but if you do, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> trying to put countries on trial for, for war crimes seems insane. <laughs> yeah, no, it never works. <laughs> Like, I guess except we gotta the, put them on the trial. Nazis. They're like, That'd hey, work. we're already committing war crimes. What do you yeah. think? You think we're gonna show up at trial? Yeah. The last <laughs> guys to show up for the war crimes were the Nazis. And everyone's like, oh, those guys all died. We're never showing up for trial. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> they, all, they all get what they deserved. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want to get what I, I don't deserve. want what I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> This sounds terrible. Yeah, I'm reading the rules of war now, and, like, none of them happen. Like, none of these are things people abide by. Like, Russia's been hitting, like, just children's hospital after children's hospital. Oh, yeah. Well, we've been yeah. Trying, number uh... one. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, yeah. No bombing <laughs> schools. Well, and then people are like, hey, let's go hide in the school. You're not allowed to bomb schools. And you're like, well, this kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> 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 I think you're really, <laughs> really, you're kind of. That's not really fair. You're kind of helping the other side. They're yeah, like, exactly. Hey, they're gonna go hide in hospitals and schools. I bet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we should bomb those first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. That's the podcast. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. Um, check out the Patreon at patreoncom slash babies. We have a bonus episode for you every week. We pick a new topic. We talk about that topic for about fifteen minutes or so. It's fun. Last yeah. week we did puppets. Yeah, it was good. It was a good episode. You fucking if and if you if you're subscribed, you'd know that. Um, on Friday, May twentieth, I'm uh, with Jeff Dye and Maui. Um, at the playground Matalaya. Go to theplaygroundmaui.com for tickets, yeah. or you can go to my website, Jeff's website. It's gonna be a great show. And then I'm in San Diego, May 27th and 28th at the Madhouse. I'm in San Luis Obispo the second weekend of June, but I don't know the exact shows yet. Hell yeah. But if you're in San Luis Obispo, I'll be out there uh, with Orion Levine. We're going to be out there for like three days. Yeah, Orion's very funny. I like yeah. that guy. He's great. All right. Yeah. Well. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Tony also. Give, uh, a, yeah. give Tony a Tony's follow. Here. Yeah. Animator, producer, guy who looks stuff up. Check him out. Very, very good guy. <laughs> um... And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for listening. We'll see you next week. Bye. See you guys. Don't, don't.